Is this food or is this poison? Is someone trying to poison me? Did my food taster test this before <laughs> before I tried it? Hey, what's going on everyone? From Super Media World, I'm your host, Dashing Dan Dolphin, interviewer impersonator, and you're watching the Hollywood Nick Manker Hot Ones audition tape. I'd like to welcome my guest, Hollywood Nick Manker. He's an actor, writer, and director whom you may know from such films as The Brothers Deed, Give Me a Raincoat, and the hit TV series The Beard Detective. He's won three good actor awards, is a record holder for the most movies produced in a year, and is the founder of Mankerwood Studios. Hollywood Nick, welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. Are you ready for the Ten Wings of Death? Um, I think so. We'll see. Are you good with hot sauce? I've been known to dabble, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we do. I think I can do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. I see you requested boneless. Any reason for that? Um, because I'm not a savage. Who wants to eat meat straight off the bone like an animal? further away, could they? Critics have raised the point that your YouTube channel doesn't focus enough on your own movies. Why has Super Media World shelled from discussing films that are produced by Mankerwood Studios? A lot of our customers actually own my movies already because, I mean, who doesn't want that as part of their collection? A Mankerwood classic film? Um, and they're readily available at most retailers within the uh, Jacksonville region. What kind of movies do you like? Horror. Anything horror. Horror movies? Everything horror. Like pornos? Yes. If you can put me a horror and a horror together, I will take it. Oh, we have a section for you. You should stop on by and rent one. <laughs> then I shall be there. So this is one that's actually on the Hot Ones show. And made by the Hot Ones uh, people whoever makes these sauces. So when I'm actually on the real deal, this will be one of the sauces I eat. Actor, writer, director, editor, best boy. When it comes to making movies, you really do it all. But which part of the process do you find most enjoyable? And which part do you like the least? That's a good question. Well, I really do like the acting part. Um, it's really fun being able to play a character other than yourself. Some movies I get to play a macho guy, some movies I get to play a manly man. Um, actually, most characters I actually do just play myself, I guess. But um, it is kind of nice, you know, when I do get to think outside the box and play maybe a character that has like a stutter or um, has blonde hair instead of brown hair. You know, just kind of be somebody else for a day. It's, uh, it's a really interesting experience. Editing's a little tough sometimes. I don't like to watch my own movies. Uh, it's just something about seeing myself on camera is a little strange to me, so uh, I, I tend not to watch my own movies, but I do like to have full control over the production, so um, I do do my own editing, which is a little tough when you don't actually watch the scenes that you're in, but um, I've been able to make it work all these years just fine. You just said your favorite part was to play different characters. Mm -hmm. Who has been your favorite character? My favorite character? Oh, man. I played a detective once. That was, that was interesting. It made me really wonder if I should have just been a detective in real life because I feel like solving a mystery just can't really be that hard to do. It's definitely heating up a little more. With that classic Tabasco bite. The wings themselves do have a really good flavor to them. Do you make these? Sorry, homemade? Yep, homemade. They might be a little dry since you showed up an hour late. Your YouTube channel hosts movie reviews that promote the video catalog of your business, Hollywood Nick's Video Rama. One advertisement boasts that you have Blu-ray disc, DVD disc, laser disc, and thousands of VHS available to rent. Why does your Video Rama promote renting movies that are in outdated video formats? And do you think there should be a resurgence in watching movies the traditional way? We still rent out plenty of VHS discs, um, even Betamax. We re-rent probably two or three a month at least. So I would say that these formats really aren't outdated. The mainstream might make you think that they're outdated, but people are still very interested in renting the older styles of uh, physical media. 
So, do you release your movies on every format? My maker with classic movies? No, no, no. When I film my movies, I'm all about the art of them. And there's an art to releasing something on VHS that is lost to the world now. Um, most people don't seem to want to film in that format. They think uh, their new HD formats are superior, but and honestly, uh, VHS has top-notch quality. The best quality you're going to get on film. So most of my Minkerwood classics are released uh, straight to VHS, and that is the only form you can get them in. I think so, you went a little overboard on that one. That's a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> can the mustache work with that? It does. It does. I've been looking at it all day. You have to give me your secrets. It's gen genetics. That's all there is to it. I'll Good have, genetics. I'll have to look into that. I have strong hair in my face. Do you now? <laughs> uh, there have been talk for a while about the making of a Hollywood Nick Manker biopic with mm -hmm. names like Ryan Reynolds, Matthew McConaughey, and Danny Glover, all rumored to play the starring role. Which actor do you think would best capture the essence of Hollywood Nick? Oh, I've often saw myself as maybe a Paul Rudd kind of guy. Um, I've been told we look a lot alike and have uh, really similar personalities. Which leads me to my next question. Why wouldn't you just play it yourself? It seems like it'd be cheating a little bit, don't you think? Playing yourself on camera instead of just having someone else do it for you. Just let someone else do their vision of who you are and then crucially judge them on how they performed. And then if the movie's a bomb, then it's on them, not me. I can't argue with that logic. You okay over there? Mm-hmm. I do this every day. Do you? <laughs> you know, Sean Evans does this a lot on the actual Hot One show. I try to be just like him. I modeled. I trained for a month to get here. I do do a lot of the Hot Ones audition tapes. Yes, I do. Everyone you've ever seen. All one of them. Throughout your career, you've had at least five stunt doubles who look exactly like you. All have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Rumors of these disappearances range from mistaken identity deaths to poor safety conditions on the set of your films. So some even saying that you make your own clones. Can you shed any light on this and where you were on August 15th, 2015? Um, who, who knows what happened to them? Uh, they probably got other jobs, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, maybe they started a family. Uh, that's my official statement. It's got a little bit of a spice, but it's got more sweet to it than the spice. All right. <clears throat> that mustache still look okay. It does, it does. Genetics are working out for you. Your father was country western singer Freddie Minker, who sold over 800 million records during his 40-year career. What did it feel like when you took control of his massive estate, Freddie Land, and what was it like transitioning the property to Mankerwood we know today? Uh, I wanted to keep the property as close to the original as possible, with the exception of taking down that awful looking Freddie Land sign and putting the Mankerwood uh, sign up. But um, I opened a video store on the property uh, and my film studios and my own personal uh, residence is also on the property. The Videorama, we just took um, we took an old storage building that was on the studio, uh, slapped some paint on it, uh, threw some shelves in there, and that was basically all we had to do for that. Um, his house that I moved into, um, we did a lot of remodeling on that. Uh, I probably spent the last 12 years doing additions and remodels to that to, uh, to make it a really comfortable place to live. Can't be that hot, can it? Nah. Just remember, there's three more hotter than this. What it gets you in the back of the throat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just sneaks up on you there. Yep, that's when I... Flavor, it's not... It, Flavor-wise, it's fine. I can handle it. I can handle anything. The back of the throat... It's a little trickier. How's that wine working out for you? Fantastic. You know, wine, it clears your palate. Maybe I'll get a little more wine. You know, they say when you fill a glass of wine, you're not supposed to fill the glass, but all bullshit on that. 
In recent years, you starred in an episode of Cooking with Celebrities you may have seen once, which you later shared on your YouTube channel. The world wants to know, are you a good cook? Well, first of all, I'm a master. I spent many years training um, professionally uh, by watching the Food Network, and I would call myself probably a five-star chef. I really love making grilled cheese. Uh, I feel like there's something just perfect about uh, making a grilled cheese. It just it just hits perfectly. Macaroni and cheese, another one. Especially Kraft, straight out of the box. Throw a little bit of shredded cheese on there. That's a secret. Don't share that with anyone else. That's a Hollywood Nick cooking tip for everyone at home. Just put a little bit of shredded cheese in there and just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm telling you, it'll be the best thing you've ever eaten. I'll have to try that. Bottoms up. <laughs> A little bit of this. It can't be that hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's why I'm not hot. I don't know if it's the fact that it's hotter. It tastes like a buffalo's ass. <laughs> it's not even that hot. Then these next two sauces should be fine for you. How are we feeling? Tastes great? Still good, right? Not hot at all. Is this actual food? <laughs> yeah, people add it for flavor. Is this food or is this poison? Is someone trying to poison me? Did my food taster test this before <laughs> before I tried it? And is he okay? He's in the bathroom? Someone go check on him, make sure this isn't poison. He's okay, he's fine. He's just gonna peep. Oh, fuck. Alrighty. In a 2019 interview, you were stated as saying that on average you drink one bottle of wine, three glasses of water, and four cups of coffee every day. Is there any truth to this claim? And if so, how long have you had this habit? Um, wow, the wine actually helps quite a bit. Uh, wine, uh, water, water, yep. I do drink a lot of water and coffee and wine. Every day. Yeah. The water is for nutrients. So you get all those nutrients, uh, from the water and the, uh, the vitamins. And then the coffee is for energy, um, and the coffee vitamins, uh, the coffee bean vitamins. And then the wine is, um, it's for sustenance, and it also has a lot of vitamins because it's made from fruit. Any other habits we should know about? Uh, I also walk, I um, also do a lot of walking. I walk probably two or three miles um, every couple of weeks. Are you sure that my food tester is okay. Can I see his face? I want to know. I want to see visually see that he's still alive. Okay. You okay, Mark? Okay. I got to be really careful. As a celebrity, people try to poison me all the time. I got you. I got my producer testing it now. <laughs> it's still lingering in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Tastes great. I didn't know. How'd that one feel? It's fun. Was it? 
Is ghost peppery enough? Uh, that's not that hot. It's it's not that hot. <laughs> they say these sauces are hot. They're not that hot. These people are just making this up. <clears throat> A lot of people have said that you look like the character Jim Dickens from the hit show Letterkenny. Have you ever heard about this comparison? And which other celebrity do you think you resemble the most? <coughs> uh, I've, I've heard this. I, I highly doubt that I look anything like this character. Because uh, I have a one-of-a-kind look. But I would say the, the celebrity that most resembles me would maybe be like a, like a young Brad Pitt. Uh, I've been told that a lot, that I look like a young, a young Brad Pitt um, if he was in a little bit better shape. But yeah, I don't, I don't know who the, who the fuck Jim Dickens is. Uh, what is this? Hot Ones, The Last Dab, Apollo. I noticed a lot of people have told me that, that the cheer is on the last wing, but apparently you're just going to go ahead and eat it. So I guess, fuck that, I'll just eat it too. This cannot be what they put on that show. <laughs> you put battery acid or some shit in this. Just make it a little wine, wash it down. Oh god. <laughs> Oof. And I would have cheered with Jeff Hollywood Nick Maker, but I wanted to get it done and out of the way. And thank god I did. Mankerwood, home of Mankerwood Studios, is located in the heart of the Midwest, just outside the small town of Jacksonville, Illinois. Is it difficult to work in the film industry while being so far away from other major entertainment cities such as Hollywood, uh, New York, or Atlanta? Fucking Atlanta. <coughs> Fuck Atlanta. Fuck New York. Fuck LA. <laughs> the new future home of entertainment is in Jacksonville, Illinois. Oh my god. There's so much prospect here. Between Manglewood Studios and Hollywood Nick's video drama. This is the new entertainment hub of the world. This is new Hollywood. This is new Bollywood. It's a new, <clears throat> whatever the shit they film in England. Jacksonville, Illinois, That's it's the hub of entertainment in the United States. Uh, I don't I don't have any sort of hard feelings towards those other places, but fuck. Uh, All right, the world wants to know, is there anything else? What I want to promote? No, anything else you'd like to say? Well, usually I, I've been told on the hot ones, I'm going to say this camera, this camera, what, all that bullshit. Uh, I mean, that's coming. He kind of rushed me, so I'll go ahead and do it. This camera, this camera, and this camera. Tell the people what you're doing. I think I'm dying. Fuck. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. This might be the last you see of me, because I'm pretty sure I'm about to die. My, my living will is bury everything with me nobody gets anything mm. for promotion for promotion uh, visit Super Meteor World on YouTube for more entertaining videos and leave comments and feedback and whatnot because my employees say that nobody's doing shit on there and I don't know what I'm supposed to do unless somebody gives me some sort of feedback because I don't watch any of this myself Keep an eye out. Nick's Video Store Season 4 coming out hopefully soon. Uh, we had some kinks with some um, digital whatever, but we're having soon. 
and uh, look look for me to be on Hot Ones uh, any day now, I'm sure, and we're definitely not going to do these fucking sauces. All right. Dash and Dan Dolphin signing off. You heard Nick Minger. Fuck Atlanta, fuck LA, and fuck the last dab. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Somebody call the paramedics.